Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into a rising national security question. How can India effectively counter a two-front stealth threat from Pakistan's future J-35A and China's operational J-20 stealth fighters? Could Russia's next general S-500 Prometheus air defense system be the game-changer India needs? Let's find out. Rising threat in the skies, India faces a complex and evolving security challenge. On one front, China is deploying its Chengdu J-20 stealth fighters near the Line of Actual Control (LAC). On the other, Pakistan is reportedly in talks to acquire up to 40 J-35A stealth jets from China, with delivery potentially by 2030. While Pakistan's defense minister recently denied a J-35A deal, other reports suggest signs point to an imminent delivery, with some even indicating first units could fly by Q1 2026. Together, these fifth-generation fighters could strike critical Indian infrastructure with minimal radar detection, pushing the Indian Air Force into a dangerous two-front stealth dilemma. Enter the S-500 Prometheus. To address this looming threat, Indian defense experts are eyeing the S-500 Prometheus, Russia's most advanced air and missile defense system. Developed by Almazanti and inducted into Russian service in 2021, the S-500 represents a generational leap over the already powerful S-400 Triumph which India currently operates. India has initiated discussions with Russia for S-500 acquisition, with a strong preference for the advanced system. Russia has even reportedly offered India the opportunity for joint local production of the S-500. Unmatched Capabilities of the S-500 What makes the S-500 so formidable? Anti-Stealth Mastery it can detect and neutralize stealth aircraft like the J-20 and J-35A at ranges up to 500 kilometers. Its low-frequency radars and AI-driven signal processing are designed to expose and lock onto stealth aircraft, negating their stealth advantage. Ballistic Missile Interception The S-500 can engage targets like Pakistan's Shaheen or China's DF series missiles at 600 kilometers, even at 200 kilometers altitude, utilizing missiles designed for exoatmospheric intercepts. Hypersonic Defense It's built to intercept hypersonic weapons traveling at blistering speeds. Anti-satellite capability It can potentially disable enemy satellites in low Earth orbit, which would be a direct hit on modern military communication and surveillance. India's multi-layered shield But India isn't stopping with just the S-500. With five S-400 regiments already operational, adding two to three S-500 units would create a near-impenetrable shield over vital military and civilian infrastructure. This Russian technology will also work in tandem with India's indigenous systems. Akash and Barak 8 SAMs The upcoming Project Kusha Long Range SAMs and the Integrated Air Command and Control System, IACCS, which ties it all together. India is also developing its indigenous Surya VHF radar designed to detect stealth aircraft. By integrating the S-500 with homegrown technologies, India is building a future-ready air defense network capable of neutralizing even the stealthiest of threats from both Pakistan and China. Though still in preliminary discussions, the potential S-500 deal is more than a weapons acquisition. It's a strategic insurance policy for India's skies. In a rapidly changing battlefield, air dominance and denial are key. And with the S-500 Prometheus possibly on the horizon, India may just be one step closer to securing its skies against any stealth threat, no matter which front it comes from. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into India's defense, technology, and strategic updates.